how do we come up with content ideas for videos? Yes, I will be giving you a document of content ideas to look at, but honestly, um, the danger of looking at a, at a document or others' ideas is that it can become formulaic. The, the best content ideas over time tend to be the ones that come out of you spontaneously, whether you're taking a walk, you're washing the dishes, you're in the shower, and literally those are three common times. Something to do with movement and water tends to have to, to give content ideas. I've noticed, uh, maybe you find something else, maybe it's fire for you or earth or, or, or metal or something else. But, uh, <laughs> so, um, but uh, so therefore, the, the most important thing I can tell you about coming up with content ideas is that you must have a reliable capture tool and a reliable categorization process for your ideas. So let me explain. A reliable capture tool is one that you have with you most times. So most of us have a phone with us most of the time. So the question is, which app on your phone would you enjoy and be fast to capture ideas? And go ahead and comment below if you, if you have one like that. What app on your phone? Or, or uh, if you don't have your phone with you at all times, this is what I used to do. Before smartphones were a thing, I used to, I, I, I always, I bought, I always bought these tiny notepads from the, from the drugstore, um, you know, variety store, the tiny notepads. And I kept a little pencil or pen and I would always have it with me in my pockets everywhere I go. That's before smartphones. And I would, I would take out, take that thing out. So I, before I even understood the power of capturing ideas all the time, I used to do that just instinctively perhaps. And then now, of course, I do it on my, on my phone. Um, you know, those of you on the iPhone, you know, notes, app on the iPhone is very popular. Uh, you know, Google Keep is another popular one. I, I use Google Keep to capture ideas all the time. Uh, actually, let's move on to talking about categorizing. So I said reliable capture tool. Now, if you're in the shower, there's something called Aqua Notes you can get from Amazon. That's a waterproof pad that comes with a sticky thing to put on the shower with a, with a pencil, which is waterproof. And you could just jot notes down in the shower. Um, so uh, categorizing. A reliable categorization process means that at the end of each day or at the start of each day, okay, but once a day, you take at least five minutes to categorize the ideas that you've captured uh, until the previous time <laughs> that, you, that you categorized ideas. So what I mean is if you capture ideas randomly on a, on a note, well, can you put that, can you put your video ideas into your video folder or note, cut and paste that? So that it's always in one place or somehow label it, right? So I always do that at the end of each day, I've captured a bunch of ideas on either Google Keep or Todoist, and I will now label the ones, ah, oh, this is a video idea. Oh yeah, that's a video idea, et cetera. So that when it comes time to making videos, I'm not going, well, I don't know what to say. No, I, could, I have a whole category called video ideas. I could look at it and see what I feel like saying today. What, what's alive for me based on all these ideas? So if you start this practice, of capturing ideas and categorizing, guess what? Your muse will trust you to give you more ideas. If you don't believe in a muse or a spirit guide, then I'll say this secularly, your brain will stop blocking ideas because right now your brain is blocking ideas because your brain's like, every time I give you ideas, you don't do anything with them. Why am I giving you ideas? So your subconscious is kind of blocking ideas. But if you, if you have, a, have a constant practice of capturing and doing stuff with the ideas, your subconscious is like, wow, you really respect you know, the, the creative process. I'm going to give you more ideas going. You will find yourself. It's a magical process. This is maybe why I, I have so many creative ideas for so many years now, because I started doing that even before smartphones were a thing. So start practicing this. And over the months and the years, you'll just become more and more creative. And uh, this is what I look forward to, to seeing you experience. And I should say even more creative than you currently are. You're pretty creative already, but you'll get even more ideas by capturing and categorizing reliably.